is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we got some epic unboxings for you guys we got two packages here we had three but i had to open this one so i, I apologize but we got a really sick af little rumbler playset set here but it totally works for wwe mattel figures and i'll show you an example here in a moment we're gonna go through this whole playset set here it's very exciting stuff guys and um it, it has something to do with pick fetting and, and matches and stuff like that so you guys will get to see that but we do have two packages we got one from my boy beast Nation 2018 on Instagram. Absolute man child of a customizer. Very underrated in that category. He hooked me up with an attire of a person that I have been trying to hunt down for a long, long time. So I'm very happy to add that to the collection. We also got a pickup from eBay, which we're going to get into. It's just really good hauls going on today, guys. We got all three of these things in, and tomorrow we're going to have even better hauls that I'm even more excited about. So we got a lot of epic stuff happening, and I'm super duper excited for it. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. I guess we can start off with let's start off with the packages we'll start off with our packages first just to knock those out real quick um, again this does come from ebay this first one is from the bay of e as ryan from what pigs likes to call it or chase from burnout inc and um, matt hardy would probably even call it that but you guys will see here i actually got this seth rollins basic you guys are going to be amazed right here i got this for ten dollars shipped and it's practically brand spanking new. And you guys can see it is a basic Seth Rollins with the Elite 37 head scan on there. And this was $10. And you guys know I love that head scan. The, the, the facial hair, though, is a bit off, as you guys can see there. Um, can you see that? Yeah, yeah, it's just offline there. His mustache sort of dips down onto his lip, but I can acetone that off. I can fix up this head scan, and we're going to do that. So I did find this on eBay. Really great price. Could not turn it down, so I pulled the trigger on it. Um, first of all, it does. it's a great attire in basic form. It's going to go into the crowd for the Rumble, for My Damn Nation, for um, the other pay-per-views that we have. We can make the crowd bigger. We can also use these knee pads for customs and Seth Rollins fix-ups with the gold and black there. And then the one of my favorite Seth Rollins head scans, probably my second favorite. This and the Top Talents, I don't know, guys. To me, they're very, very close as far as which one I like more. I like this one because it's more pissed off. It's a better heel Seth Rollins or just motivated, serious Seth Rollins. And then the, the Top Talents is more of a goofy or just, you know, regular smiley face Seth Rollins. So I was really happy to find this on eBay for so cheap, and, and it's it's a great figure and head scan. So we got that Seth Rollins basic, and then the next figure that we have is a custom from my boy Beast Nation, James Fulcher, and uh, we're just going to open this thing up right quick. Again, this is an attire of a superstar that I've been wanting for a long time. I, I've been trying to track it down, multiple customizers, multiple people. I think he's sold one before. He actually left us a note here. Let's go ahead and read it aloud to the class. He said, Trey, thanks again for your business. Hope you enjoy it, James. Absolute man child. Again, guys, you should go follow him on Instagram. You will not regret it. He, he makes fantastic customs, as I've stated, but let's go ahead and unwrap here, and you guys will see it is the Beast Incarnate. We got Brock freaking Lesnar in the house. I love this to death, guys. You probably just think that this is just the regular WrestleMania 32 Elite Brock Lesnar, or this is the ringside exclusive Brock Lesnar, but no, guys, it is not. It is actually a custom. Here comes the pain attire, is what a lot of people call it, but it is Brock Lesnar with his skull tattoo on the back of his trunks. I've always loved this attire. And he made a fantastic version of it. You guys can see there. That is all hand painted. That is not a decal. He nailed all the details on there. He got the skull in there. He got the contrast in it. And he also hand painted the meat hooks, the hands that are, you know, detached from the arms or wherever the arms are. Uh, there's the detached hands with the meat hooks in his back. He had to add those because I don't think he quite had the tattoos when they made this figure. I think it was more of a flashback than before he got the tattoos there. So there is the Brock. It's got a good head scan on it, and I, I love this. I think this is absolutely beautiful. And one thing that I may do is switch out the knee pads, but it may just go on display. I don't think I'll be using it in the pick fed. If I use it in the pick fed, we're going to make like an updated Brock. Um, and I think I've showed you guys that before maybe, but anyways, that is the custom figure, the Beast Incarnate, who will defend the Universal Championship, so we, it's kind of cool, we have like a flashback of the WrestleMania 35 matchup right here, Universal Championship, who you guys got, you got the Beast Incarnate retaining, or do you think Seth freaking Rollins, my man, is going to go in there, burn it down, and capture the Universal Championship, let me know down in the comments section below who you think is going to walk out, I think, honestly, I mean, with the Shield returning, and Roman Reigns returning, and everything, I think that Seth Rollins is going to get it done. I, I had sort of some issues with it going forward because I thought that, you know, they're, they're going to keep the title on Brock, but I think the Shield's going to get it done. I just don't know where the Shield goes after that, so it's kind of confusing. But 
There's our two packages. Wanted to make sure we get those out of the way. Now we can go dive into our Scaffold Bash playset or Scaffold Smash playset by WWE Rumblers. And I don't know if you guys have ever owned these. It's called Rumblers Rampage. It comes with two figures. We have two figures here. And this is not why I got it. I did not get these because it comes with Kofi Kingston and I don't play with the Rumblers and all this stuff. This is just what it came with. But here you go. Kofi's got like a little jumping action here and that's pretty cool. It's got some nice detail. This will go in my little figure collection. I have some smaller figures. I don't collect them, but when I get them, I just sort of throw them together. So I have a small little collection of them. And then the Miz is, I think he's, he has like a trunk twist. Yeah, so he can do like a little hip attack or an elbow there. So that's pretty cool. I mean, you got the figures there. There. I, I didn't get them for this. Like I said, I got it for this piece over here, which we're going to get into. And this is another huge shout out to my boy Prime Wrestling on Instagram. You guys, if you watched our How to Make Barbed Wire video that I posted a few days ago, then you guys will know that uh, I posted how to make barbed wire for your WWE action figures. And I talked about Prime Wrestling's pick fed. And in his pick fed, in his Battle of the Deathmatch or King of the Deathmatch videos, he actually had this scaffold playset that I noticed. And uh, I asked him where he got it. He said it was an old Rumblers playset. I tracked it down on eBay and I found it. And I think this thing is freaking sweet. I may add it to one of my sets, to one of my WWE, you know, pay-per-view sets for the pick pad for MDT Live and all that good jazz. I may add it to the Royal Rumble set. I'm not sure exactly. I want to pick up two of them because, you know, you could have one on one side, one on the other. Really cool stuff. I mean, it's pretty in scale. You guys can see. I mean, it's not, you know, perfect by any means, but... Uh, you can, you know, get up here. You could jump off of there. It's pretty high up, if you guys can see. It's about two, roughly the size of two Mattel action figures. And you can, um, maybe I can plug a clip from his pick fed real quick. And you guys can see that uh, Luke Harper is fighting Brian Pillman, I think, in like the semifinals of that battle of the, or King of the Deathmatch tournament, which I highly recommend you go and watch on uh, Prime's wrestling YouTube channel. But you guys will see that he literally, Luke Harper and Brian Pillman are on top of that thing and uh, Luke Harper choke slams Brian Pillman straight off the scaffolding and I just was so inspired by that. I was like, man, that would be really cool to add to my extreme championship division, um, especially going into the Royal Rumble with the death match and everything. It's going to be insane to see what we got because I have a lot of exciting ideas and stuff and Prime just really inspired me to get going um, in that extreme division. So it does come with this. Again, it, it does break away. I know that he didn't break anybody through it, but you could break somebody through it. Let's see if we can get Seth Rollins to go through here. So see, he can fall through. I don't know if they can go all the they can go all the way through, and it actually collapses the whole thing. So that's freaking epic, man. And then they stack on top of each other. If you just wanted one, you can actually just stack one up. Let me go ahead and lower this. And you can create like a mini table, which is really sick too. So this is a really cool playset, guys. If you guys are interested, uh, I think there are a few on eBay. But you know, you just clip this together here, and now you have like a miniature table. You know, maybe you can get a WLC match going between Hornswoggle and El Torito. But you see, it's sort of a smaller table if it were... Maybe you could use it as a coffin. Oh my god, Seth Rollins almost put himself through it. Maybe you could add it to a diorama or, you know, an office, office backstage. You could probably make it a office desk, actually. Let's go ahead and see if I can make this L-shaped desk. If you clip them together, they also have WWE logos on them, but... Let's see right here. You could, yeah, I mean, that could work. You could make like a little L desk for your GM's office or something. You just gotta get creative. That's what this hobby's all about and what these figures are all about. It also comes with a breakaway wall, and I, I don't think this would work really for the pick bed. I think it's too small and it's it's not realistic enough. Like bricks don't just break like that. I don't know. It's just kind of weird. They kind of crumble. I don't know. Probably won't use that, but. I don't know. Pretty sick little playset, guys. Uh, again, they, they do stack on top of each other. They do get loose, though. I thought about possibly gluing them together, but then you wouldn't have the, you know, the uh, the pleasure of being able to take them off and having just one. But you could have two here. Let's go ahead and drop Seth through it. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty freaking sweet, man. I, I like it a lot. I thought you guys would enjoy it. And if you guys are interested, go look it up, I think. Just just look up Rumbler Scaffold on eBay or look up, uh, I don't know. There's a bunch of different things that you can look up. But this playset is freaking sweet, nasty particles, as you guys can see. And uh, we got some epic hauls in here today. We got the cool scaffolding playset. Again, really looking forward to possibly buying another one to uh, have two on each side or one on each side of the 
of the stage there. Or I don't know. I'm just my head swirling with ideas, and it, it a lot of it goes out to Prime because it, watching his King of the Death match and watching his pick fed just really inspired me. So I want to give a huge shout out to him. You guys can follow him on Instagram and check out his channel as well as James Fulcher or Beast Nation who made this epic Brock Lesnar custom figure that we got here today in our video. And uh, tomorrow's video, we have even more hauls. I don't know if it'll be a haul video or if it'll be uh, other things, but we have really sweet hauls coming tomorrow from one of my good friends in the community, so I'm really excited about that one as well. But thank you guys so very much for watching. I think that's going to do it for today's video. We got the Epic Custom. We got the sweet deal from the Bay of E. We got the super sick, nasty play set for the Rumblers. Again, you guys can find that on eBay if you would like to pick it up. Just don't buy the cheap one because that's the one I'm going after. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.